Hello and welcome to this Cabinet Vision design tutorial. My name is Taylor and today we're going to be looking at how to construct floating vanities, sometimes also referred to as wall hung vanities, in Cabinet Vision. This is our little inspiration picture of what we're trying to achieve, so let's jump straight in. Okay, so first of all we're going to need a new room for a new vanity. I'm going to bring this up. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is just show you the way that I used to do this. It's a bit more time consuming. It totally works. But then I'm also going to show you a little bit of a faster way to do it that you might find really useful. So I'm just leaving everything as standard and hit OK. I'm just going to draw up a basic little area for a vanity with some walls. A little nook for it to sit in and then I'm gonna go to the elevation of that center wall and basically just start building in a typical vanity so go custom cabinets vanities and bring in an infill down the side and then I'd probably have maybe a cupboard with a couple of doors on it next to that so you can see as I bring these in these aren't floating. These are sitting down on the floor and there is a toe kick to it. So the way that I used to do this would be to manually adjust the cupboard by going to section, delete the kicker by going down to toe and making that toe height zero, which works really well, deletes the kicker, but it's still down to the floor. So from there I would have always had to delete how much height I want to elevate it by. In this case, I'm just gonna use 300 millimeters and then make the elevation 300 millimeters. And then I would have to do the exact same thing on that infill. And then depending on whether I was using the same thing in the rest of the room, I could copy paste or I might have to do it again to drawers, etc. So it works, but it's a bit time consuming. And then if you need to make adjustments to that, say you talk to the client again and they decide, oh, instead of 300 millimeters, let's have it at 350. You have to go back in, take off a bit more height, add a bit more elevation, and you have to do that to every single unit across your wall. So that is one way to do it, but I'm going to show you how to set up your room slightly differently so that when you bring in your cupboards, they're already set up, ready to go to the settings that you want to have. So I can just do that in the same room. If I delete what I've brought in, leave the walls in place. But if I go back to room and then go to cabinet construction and where it says it's a frameless construction, I want to go across and modify the construction for this particular room. It will only modify for this room and it won't save back to the system unless I tell it to by using the save a system button. So I go to the exterior case and down to toe kick, double click to open up the standards for the toe kick. This little box takes me through the standards one by one, so I have to hit next until I find the standard I'm looking for. Which, in this case, the first standard I need to adjust is going to be the height of the toe kick. I'm just going to switch this over to metric, because that's what I'm using, and I'm going to make that 300 millimeters, because that's my going to be my standard height that I want all my units to be floating at. So then I hit next and next again. And this is the other setting that I need to adjust, and it's the distance that the toe kick is set back. I want to make this distance actually greater than the whole depth of the unit itself, because that's going to create or cause the toe kick to disappear entirely. So my cupboards are about 500 millimeters deep, so I'm going to make this 550. So it will set them back greater than the cupboards itself. So that's all I need to adjust. I can keep going through these standards if I wanted to see what the other ones are, but I only need to adjust those two. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And from here, I either hit okay or I hit return to save what I've done. And it will ask me, do you wanna update the room with these changes? And yes, I do. And then this cabinet construction will just change its title to be modified frameless so you know it's done in there. So if I hit okay, and then if I go back to the elevation of that center wall and start to bring in my cupboards again, you'll be able to see that the minute I bring in that filler, 
it's already sitting up that 300 mil. Same thing if I then bring in my cupboard next to it. Okay, it's already sitting up that 300 mil and there is no toe kick to it. If I jump over to the 3D, you can see there's nothing there. So that's a really quick and easy way to just adjust your room construction settings to affect each cupboard. And if I just would add in the dimension there, so you can see 300 millimeters. Say again, maybe the client tells me, actually, can you change it to 350? I don't have to go in and adjust each cupboard. I can just go back to the room settings, back to the cabinet construction, go back into modify, find my same toe kick standards and just go through to I find that height standard again. There it is. And in here, adjust to 350 and hit OK and OK again. Update, yes, OK. And see that jumped up. So now that height is 350. So super duper quick to adjust your floating vanities by using those toe standards in the construction settings rather than going in individually and modifying each cupboard. Sometimes that might work as a better solution for you if you've got different heights in your room for some reason, but most of the time using that is going to be a really good tool to know about. So I hope you found this really helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this one, please be sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out our other videos that will help guide you on your path to becoming a Cabinet Vision Power user.